Investors are in a pretty good mood this weekend. The Dow Jones Industrial Average stands at a record high, 14,397. And the nation's unemployment rate in February dropped to 7.7 percent after 236,000 jobs were added last month, well above the expectations. But with the market soaring, will the unemployment rate ever again fall to pre-recession levels? Joining us this morning are Bloomberg TV anchor Deirdre Bolton and Lizanne Saunders, Chief Investment Strategist at Charles Schwab. Welcome to you both and congratulations on a remarkable quick change. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. We had chairs with wheels zooming in, zooming out, but we're here. Cheers, we're here. here. So yes, let's, all right, let's look at these numbers this week because we've had, we've had a series of really good news here. Mm -hmm. Are, what do you, under the underlying economy, a lot of people feel it hasn't gotten better, but these numbers suggest that we're, we're heading in the yeah, right direction. Yeah, it's a four-year low, right? And Lizanne, you and I were speaking earlier saying for your low, you have to sit up and notice that, but there are fewer people participating in the labor force. The denominator has changed, right. but you had an interesting comment saying that's not going to last forever either. Well, the labor force participation rate has been declining, and a lot of people make the assumption that the vast majority for that happening is because of economic reasons, people just giving up right. the hunt, when in fact the primary reason is demographics. Retirees. Mm -hmm. Retirees. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're, we're in a probably a long steady decline in labor force participation rate. Now, if things really start to ramp up, you will see some people who are disgruntled will come back into the workforce right. and that can actually cause the unemployment rate to pop up a little you bit. You really like these numbers. Yeah, look, it's pre-sequestration, so we don't have the effect mm -hmm. of job cuts associated with that. We have gotten a pop in January and February in the last couple of years that ultimately did not lead to better numbers. So I think it's a little too soon to start extrapolating a 236 number as mm -hmm. far as the eye can see. But I think the underlying health of the economy is improving, and I think it's being seen in the numbers. The Federal what? Reserve here also is pumping money, $85 billion a month, into the economy. And there is some concern of if they were to take that punch bowl away, how would things actually look? I mean, that's one of the questions. Also, the fact that is this the new normal? I mean, right now, uh, back when we saw the Dow, for example, at these levels previously, you had about 6 million people in the country unemployed. Now you have 12 million people in the country unemployed. And there's also this larger question of mismatch, right? The jobs that are available and then what people's skill set really is in this country. I mean, I took a look at some statistics, excuse me, from the Labor Department. Basically, since February 2011, there are 3 million jobs per month that are going unfilled in the U.S. And I looked at a survey from mm -hmm. Manpower, which actually said close to half the employers are saying we're actually having trouble filling these jobs. Yep. 44 percent, again, in that manpower survey are saying we actually can't find the right kind of skills out there. And we're talking about math, engineering, technology on the ground. We've done a lot of reporting with young kids graduating right now. The ones who are IT or engineering, I mean, they say it's a great time. They have offers from Google. They have offers from Microsoft, Gulfstream, all different kinds of companies. But those are not the ones that the majority of the population can do, and there's just a, the, the mismatch. At the same time, you've got, a, you've got a number of banks coming out with reports this week that suggest the end of this year and next year could look quite good. Look, banks are in quite healthy shape. Um, all but one passed the stress tests. Capital ratios are very strong. Leverage is way down. We're talking about the broader economy. And lending saying. growth is starting to pick up. We're, we have lending growing at about a 7% pace. Commercial right. industrial lending, very strong. It's still relatively weak on the mortgage side. That's the piece that has to unclog. And that actually relates to some of the, the mismatch because we've had a mobility problem. People stuck in their homes, but with now housing doing mm -hmm. well, that part of the system gets unclogged. All right. Deirdre Bolton and Liz Ann Saunders, thank, thank you, you both for being here this Thanks. morning.